Get ready everyone, this fall is going to be insane. What is up, I'm Awana Turtle and for this video I have four things I want to get across. The first one being, I am so hyped for Hidden Fates and in case that wasn't already plain obvious. Um, number two is there's going to be so much value in the Elite Trainer Box that's going to be coming out in uh, late September um, and I think Hid Hidden Fates is just going to be an amazing set. Uh, but it leads to point number three that it's very back loaded and I want to kind of like stress that once again and kind of like its implications to unified minds and then fourth point is you know just to go over some options for pre-sale some of which I already hit uh, but just weighing some other competitors and you know maybe I'll help you guys make an informed decision. So first let's go over the contents of the Elite Trainer Box, which we're going to be focusing a lot of our discussion about. So we're going to quickly switch over to pokebeach.com as always. Uh, thank you to Water Pokemon Master for always keeping us up to date. And uh, so let's take a look. Um, for the Elite Trainer Box, uh, box looks pretty cool. The, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are really excited about the dice, which <laughs> I feel like the dice for me is a very much an afterthought after a while. Uh, but yeah, the dividers are cool. It comes with 10 packs. And, but then, oh man, I'm very impressed that they just give you this promo with the Elite Trainer Box. Um, I feel like if this was like a, like a secret rare or something in the set that people would be chasing this card like crazy like I feel it would be the Shining Charizard and this and that's what people are going after. So now I want to talk about how this Hidden Fate set is very backloaded. By backloaded I mean that the real value comes towards the later towards further into the release. Uh, so in reminder that Unified Minds comes out in early August and so that's really relevant when it comes to that the pin collections will be released on August 23rd so it's inside of a month um, so when it comes to you know when Unified Minds and things are going to be super hyped uh, just keep Hidden Fates in mind you know be, as far as whether how much you want to spend on both sets uh, to me honestly like Unified Minds is kind of like an afterthought or before thought for like <laughs> I, I'm excited about it I'm going to get some product but um, I'm more excited for Hidden Fates uh, but yeah so August 23rd the pin collection box comes out and so this features a promo and you know it's just a non GX Mew Mewtwo and you know maybe the cards are good you know just because it's not GX doesn't mean it's won't be good but I do think, think it's accurate to say that you know like the full arts the rainbow rares those are the things that people really chase uh, so these things will be MSRPing for $15 and you get three packs inside. Uh, it's very similar to what they did with Dragon Majesties with the Latios and Latios pin collections. Um, so, uh, $15, three packs, and a promo card. And then after that we have the tins that will come out. Uh, and that will be September 6th, so what's that, a couple weeks? Um, after the pin collection and I feel like this one they progressively get better so you have like a promo uh, the Mew Mewtwo promo regular uh, non GX promos and then you have these uh, GX and Gyarados uh, Charizard which in my opinion will be the, the biggest hit uh, and then the Raichu uh, this one will definitely be the biggest hit and I feel like a lot of places you can uh, do pre-orders from they actually you can't buy the Charizard one alone they kind of like combine it to get all three um, so yeah that will come out in the 6th and and these tins will feature four packs in addition to the promos. Um, so in my opinion, like the value continues to get a little higher. I'm guessing these will like MSRP for like $20 or something like that. Kind of keeping that like $5 booster pack um, price point consistent. Um, but while the value of the promos continues to increase. Uh, and then once again, September 20th is when the Elite Trainer Box, uh, which, you know, comes a lot of extra goodies and then the best promo by far the legendary birds like this card is so cool and i'm so excited for it and uh while i don't appreciate the backloaded nature of this set uh the fact that they you can easily get this card it's accessible to everyone i really appreciate that all right so now to segue into our next point uh, as far as like different purchasing options I'm just gonna go through the comments. Uh, so yeah, people are pretty excited about the dice, and uh, 
I thought this one was funny. Um, Fifty dollars, ten packs, and stained glass card. Uh, that's really good value. And it's like, oh well, you know, I think we can do better than that for fifty dollars. There was this comment. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Burbank City um, on Facebook group. I've I've heard about it a lot, but I've never actually took a close look at it. Um, and they do have a very if you drop ship it from them, you can get it for like 34, which is probably the, the best I've heard of. Uh, let me know in a comment down below if you had had any interaction with Verbank City, if you had a good experience. But uh, next, I want to talk about different options as far as pre sales go. Uh, I mentioned it before, the kind of like the site that I utilize the most is Game Nerds. Um, there was a comment in one of my recent videos that kind of mentioned that Dave and Adams is actually a very good site as well. They mentioned that it has very good service, um, better than Game Nerds, and they have very competitive prices. And I don't know about the service, I'm sure they're really good. I purchased a lot of singles and graded cards from them. Uh, but we're going to start with Game Nerds. Um, not sponsor anything but I'll just kind of talk about why I do like that one um, again I mentioned that the you can't get the tins that you think you can only get like the three pack now to get the Charizard one uh, they did have some the Charizard but they believe they're sold out so the elite turner box again which in my opinion like definitely I'm sure everyone will pick up a pin collection uh, pick up the tins but I do think the best value is obviously the elite trainer box and so they are going for 30s, we'll just round up to $37 uh, and you can get free shipping. I think you just need $75 for your order. Uh, so I feel like that's probably the one that I'll be leaning on. Uh, but I will go to Dave Adams because that was suggested. And I would say yes, I do agree that the prices are very competitive. We'll go to the Elite Trainer Box. Okay, so yeah, for Dave Adams, they're pretty competitive. They are going for $39.95. Uh, still much better than that $50 MSRP. That's why, you know, I understand that it can be difficult to pre-order something, especially with Unified Minds coming out. Um, but I do think that this set is going to be huge. I think it's going to be much bigger than Unified Minds. Uh, and the, kind of like the MSRP, I think most, you know, once it releases, a lot of places will kind of like be close to that MSRP. Uh, and you know, obviously then you'll be spending more. So for Dave and Adams, they're looking at $39.95, uh, $37 if you buy 10 of them. And uh, they did mention that Dave and Adams does kind of like give away some like free stuff. So at the top of their site, they kind of mentioned, you know, you spend $100 or more, you get a free gift, uh, which is pretty cool. Hey, like who doesn't love free stuff? Yeah, who doesn't love free stuff? Um, it is kind of like, you know, you get very specific things, uh, which I couldn't find any Pokemon related things, but uh, you know, hey, free free stuff is awesome. Uh, I feel like it's kind of very specific free stuff, so you know, not exactly for me, but hey, you know, I free stuff is free stuff. Uh, compared to Game Nerds, they do have like a rewards program, which uh, isn't great, but I think it's uh, pretty good where you get kind of like a point for every dollar and kind of like to get the max, you do have to spend like $3,200 for that. You know the best rate is thirty two hundred dollars, so that's like just under three percent back. But you can't leverage it until you hit that thirty two hundred for the hundred dollar, hundred dollars back. Um, so yeah, that's just my own thoughts. Actually, there is one more. Uh, Sports some more off of eBay. Um, I do think that they have very competitive, sometimes even better than game nerds. But the thing is, they're kind of like flash sales, very close to when it released. Maybe like. A couple weeks before, I find that a lot of times for like Magic the Gathering, um, usually is the case uh, where they'll, all right, the, the booster box or the late train box, whatever, is on sale for this really good price, and then everyone kind of buys them up. Um, so that one's probably a third, like a very viable third option, or maybe fourth with that fur bank, but I don't know much about that. Um, but it's very, you kind of have to wait for it and then you kind of have to pounce on it. Uh, but I do think that compared to, so both of these uh, Game Nerds and Dave and Adams, they kind of state that they'll ship it on the release day. So the chances of getting it on release day is very low. Uh, it does ship from Texas, so kind of equate that to you. For me to get it in the Northeast, uh, you know, it's a good like three business days later. Uh, so I never really get product on release day unless I go to Target or something to buy it. Um, Dave, or sports and more in my experience sometimes i do get it like on release day. i think one time for Yu-Gi-Oh speed duel i got it the day before official release which is pretty insane um so just as another option to consider but you kind of have to time it r just right so yeah i think that covers all the topics that i really wanted to hit um again <laughs> super hyped i am so excited for this set uh unified minds is a 
after before whatever afterthought uh for me at this point um tons of great value but it is super backloaded and uh you know if you are going to make some purchases uh definitely consider doing some kind of pre-order just to save some money um i think it's going to be super popular and to pay the 50 dollars msrp uh is unnecessary in my opinion um so i just want to throw all that information at you of course let me know what your own thoughts are in a comment down below and if you have any experience with this verbank city thing um tell me about it uh, i'm very interested uh other than that guys thanks for watching i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace